Yeah. Good morning. Turns out I'm in Jerusalem. I'm going to have to make this quick. I am standing just outside the old city, which is, yeah, up there behind me. That's the old city. The walls are around the corner. Just in front of me, behind the camera as you're looking at it, is the old, the, what's called the first station. It's a renovated new station in Jerusalem. And um, I'm standing here. Uh, I'm going to an event just the other side of the valley, but this is a great place to show you where there is a plan to build what I think would be the greatest cable car in the world, which would go from behind the camera. I'm going to swing around. Okay, it would go from behind this. Yeah, this building here is the Begin Center. Coming out over the top of that from First Station, swinging across this valley, which is unfortunately very, very murky today, and then running off round that corner and then turning left and going into the Dung Gate or next to the Dung Gate where, where it's like the closest approach to the Western Wall. So a cable car right across this un unbelievable valley with, with the, the, the Jerusalem old city and the skyline of Jerusalem visible out the window. People don't want Sorry for the trucks. People don't want this built, some, the left, because what it does is it puts a piece of infrastructure that cuts from what was Jerusalem held by the Jews in 1948 across parts of this, because right over there you can't see it in the mist, but that's Silwan. It's a, today it's an Arab, predominantly Arab um, area, but that was part of the, the bit the part of Jerusalem that Jews lost in 1948 and it was occupied by Jordan until 1967 and the liberation so people don't want infrastructure that links Jerusalem with the parts of Jerusalem that were occupied by Jordan from 48 49 to 67 that's it but otherwise if it does get built and I hope it will it will be one of the most spectacular cable car rides in the world. And they're planning to build a, a kind of a ski lift, a, a constant on and off. It takes about 15 minutes. It'll get rid of all these horrible buses. And if, if I'm going to turn the camera around, you see all those coaches. You see all those coaches there that queue up and down this road to park around the corner uh, and to let people visit the old city, which is all over there. This cable car will mean those coaches get kept in a purpose-built car park. In fact, it's the car park where um, uh, where presidents, when they visit from America, they park their helicopters in that car park. But those coaches will be kept away from the old city with their horrible engines, and a nice electric cable car will just whisk people across this valley into the old city. I think it's the best plan in the world. You have to be a fundamentalist far left Israel hater to want to block it on the grounds that you shouldn't build any infrastructure that joins, that, that rejoins Jerusalem and gets rid of this nonsense about an east and a west. That's me, Brian of London in Jerusalem for once. Catch you all later.